Babe. Can you, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm going to stand over here, though. I think that's you get the best of them. Yeah. Kind of at an angle. Yeah. Oh, just, never mind. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Okay. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the marriage of Tyler, an angel, in holy matrimony. The binding covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ to adorn this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding, the wedding of Cana in Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and the church, and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. If any of y'all can show just cause why they may not be married. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Good. Before God and this congregation, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Tyler, Will you have Angel to be your wife, and will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? I do. Good answer. Angel, will you have Tyler to be your husband, and will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? I do. Very good. I'm going to share with you a word of scripture. It was written by the Apostle Paul to the Colossians, and he wasn't talking about marriage. But I'll tell you, if you listen to what he said, there's a lot of good marriage advice in there. So I want you to listen to these words. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which you were indeed called into the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. I'll tell you something. If you choose to be patient and kind with one another. If you choose to forgive and accept forgiveness, but most importantly, if you choose to love one another, and I'll tell you, love is always a choice. It's not an emotion. Love is a decision to treat the other person in a loving way. If you make that decision every day, I will guarantee you'll be able to endure those little problems that come up in every life, but also provide an example for other people on what marriage is all about. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, we ask that you bless Tyler and Angel as they pledge their lives to each other, that their love may continue to grow and be a true reflection of your love for us all. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, I'd like you to pass your flowers on to your, your maid of honor, and I want you to join hands, and I want you to face one another. And right now, I want you to look as deeply as you can into one another's eyes. Because I want you to remember this moment in time. You see, in just a minute, you're going to be making vows in the presence of God. And after you make those vows, everything will change. Doesn't matter how long you've been together, everything changes.
Because from that time on, you'll no longer look at the future as me and mine, you and yours. It will always be us and ours. So, looking as deeply as you can into her eyes, Tyler, repeat after me. I, Tyler, take you, Angel. I, Tyler, take you, Angel. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And there to, to I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Good. Now, Angel, I want you to look as deeply as you can into Tyler's eyes and repeat these words after me. I, Angel, take you, Tyler. I, Angel, take you, Tyler. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Good. Do you have rings? I do. Very good. Is that is that Angel's ring? Yes. Okay. Very good. Now, Tyler, would you put Angel's ring on her the fourth finger of her left hand? It's a little tight. <laughs> and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. Good. And Angel, would you put Tyler's ring on the fourth finger of his left hand and repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. Very good. Let's have a word of prayer. Eternal God, whose love is the source of everything that's good, right now we pray that the knowledge of your love may inspire this union that's now begun. Grant that Angel and Tyler, who have dedicated themselves to one another in your name, Grant that they may live in harmony and true companionship throughout their life together, seeking one another's welfare, bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys. Give them the resources to live without the fear of poverty and grant them joy in their home. Father, keep them true to the faith in which this marriage has begun, that they may always walk within the light and love of Christ, strengthened by the Spirit against all temptation. And when mortal life is over, bring them in your mercy to the joy of that life that shall have no ending in the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now, since you have pledged yourself to one another in the covenant of marriage and made your declaration before God and these witnesses, I pronounce you to be... Should be a drum roll. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no one separate. As God's own. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience. Forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you. And crown all these things with love. Which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Amen. Tyler. You may now kiss your wife. And it's with great joy and pleasure that I take this opportunity to introduce for the very first time in human history, Tyler and Angel Albright.